Hello everybody, what a beautiful morning we have here today. It's, uh, I'm down at the pond, it's quite early morning, sun's just come up, it's about 7 o'clock. I've uh, just put in the last of the water in the pond. As I was down here on Thursday, it's going to fill the pond completely and overflow a little bit, which is good for helping filter the water out and get some of the dirt out of the pond. I've already put the food down here on these little uh, cork barks, as you can see, with the, with the stands up so the birds come to perch above them. Another one here. I'm uh, going to do some photography today because it's such a nice day and the wind's not too bad, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, I literally just got into the hide, closed it up, and I have about 10 greenfinch, a couple of sparrows, a serin, <laughs> a four or five linnet, all turned up all at the same time, as soon as I've closed the hide. Beautiful. This goes to show you these birds aren't at all frightened now. They got so used to me coming with the food and the water that as soon as I come here, they all come straight to the pond. It's beautiful. Ah, the blue magpie, or the azure wing magpies, the Iberian blue, sorry, are here as well. Not very good, it's first thing in the morning. Hopefully they don't take all the food. And one of the blackbird have come down with a peanut in its mouth. <laughs> we should start having all the young bird, and there's the the blues back again, the azure wing magpie. We should start having all the young birds coming in very soon as they're being born. When they do, obviously, I'll point them out because they're slightly different colours, some of the birds. Oh wow, what a beautiful bird. Look, we've got a hawfinch here. Oh, he should be back soon. Wow, what a treat. I haven't seen one of them yet this year. There's one of the little serin come in. <laughs> wow, we've got everything here today. My God. Everything's coming at once. What a beautiful morning. I've obviously been waiting for the water and the food. There's a little serin up on the top again. Just out the wind. The pond with the bush that I have on the side, this big bush that I've got growing at the side of the pond actually covers it from wind, so it's nice for the birds. They can actually come in quite comfortably without being blown around. Serin's come back with a green finch behind it there. Oh, well, we have so many birds here all at once at the moment. I actually don't quite know where to point the camera, so... <laughs> Hopefully that hawfinch will come back. It was beautiful. One of my favourite birds, the hawfinch. Well, we've even got the bee-eaters here this morning. But we've got absolutely everything has come up within the first ten minutes. What an amazing morning. My God. <laughs> There's the typical sound of the bee-eater. You'll hear it calling again in a minute. Beautiful bird. Look at the colours on that thing. So nice to see them when they come this close. Oh, wow, the hawfinch are back. We've actually got two of them here. There's the female one. There was a male one just underneath it two seconds ago. So it looks like we're going to have hawfinch all day today. Beautiful. Oh, there's the male at the pond. Oh, he'd just come down for a drink. The female's left and the male's back up on the top now. Now the female's having a drink. What a treat. I do love these birds. And it's so nice to see two of them here. Hopefully they'll be around all day and I'll get some really nice pictures when the sun comes out a bit better. And he's come down for a drink at the pond as well. The female's still around here somewhere. I think she's on the other side behind the... Oh, no, there she is at the side, look. There's the female with the lighter head. 
beautiful. What a treat. Oh, the corn bunting's come down as well. Sun's not even on the pond yet. The sun doesn't actually hit the pond till about 8.30, 9 o'clock. But uh, this is the first half hour we've had. There are over... I can count over 30 birds around the pond at the moment. Incredible. The rock doves have come in. Incredible. Well, the rock pigeon have come in. There's four of them here. They have to be very quiet when they're here. Beautiful. They're just sitting there. So unusual to see them. There's, there's four of them here at the moment. Oh, they're coming down for a drink. There's two of them. There's actually five of them all together at the moment. Wow. Magpies keep frightening them off though. Beautiful to see. Oh, here comes another one coming down. And a little stone chap, last thing. Forgot about him. So common, I even forgot. <laughs> We've had the Sardinian warbler just come in as well, but flew off. So basically, as I said, it's nearly everything's come. Incredible. Hopefully it carries on once the sun's here so I can get some good pictures. Lovely little female stone chaps. You can tell by the brown or the brownish black back and the, and the red chest. The, the male has the, the much more prominent colours with the black ahead. There we go. There's the little Sardinian warbler. She's actually come down to the pond. It's any sign you can really catch her or him, either of them, because once they're in the bushes, they never stop moving. But here they seem to stay it's quite still for a few moments. Lovely. This is the female Sardinian warbler, the greyer colour one. The male has the black, black on the back of the head and much more prominent whiter colour. As the sun hits the front of the pond, finally, it's half past eight. And as the sun's hit the water, the blackbirds come straight into the front where the sun is hitting the water for a, for a bath. Straight, it's funny. As soon as the sun hits the water, that's it, they come down for a bath. There's the male stone shack. You can see much blacker on the head and on the back. And the chest is much more prominent red and they have the white band around the neck as well. There's the females are all that sort of browny black on the back. So quite easy to tell apart these birds other than the females can often be mistaken for other birds if you're not very really experienced with them. But uh, once you get to know them they're easy. Beautiful little male serin sitting here. Look at the stunning colours. Absolutely beautiful colours. Oh, one of the starling have come down for a bath. It's a female, you can see by the pink around the end of the beak. As I said, the males have the blue. Lovely. Oh, she's enjoying this so much. I love to see this. This makes, when I see the birds using this for, like, for the baths and cleaning themselves, it makes this all so worthwhile. Just in front of her on the other side, there's another one. There's a blackbird there as well, a female. Absolutely wonderful to watch. It is such a beautiful sight. here in the middle as well. Yeah. 
but it's absolutely wonderful today. I don't think I've ever seen so much movement around the pond at one time. It's been non-stop for the last, well, since seven o'clock, it's only half past eight now. It's ridiculous, I've never seen so much movement here. Wonderful. It's ten o'clock and the little curl bunting's finally come down. Nice. Wonder where they got to. There's two of them here, there's one here and there's one on the other side of the pond. But uh, the other one's slightly hidden under the bush, so this one's a lovely little bird. They normally come down a bit earlier, so it's nice to see them back there. It seems like the sun once it's hit the pond. And there you go. There's starlings back as well. As I say, it's just been non-stop here today, even though the wind is very strong. Very unusual. Oh, I've got three or four starlings turned up all of a sudden. They're coming down for a drink in the centre. As I said, these centre at the centre of the pond when you put these little rocks or a bit of something for them to stand on just out of the water, it really does help the birds feel safe when they come to the pond rather than being at the edges because it stops any predators actually getting at them while they're having a drink. These three are just quite happily sitting up here on the side though. <laughs> Lovely. Ah, we have one of the starling here. That uh, is actually making some of the sounds. They make some beautiful sounds, the starling. They can actually mimic other birds as well. Beautiful sheen they have on their feathers. Lovely. Now you can hear the high pitched call they have. Hopefully I'll do it again. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. I've um, had to pack up the hide and I've come into the car now to do the video because the wind has blown up so strong that I just couldn't actually stay there any longer. The uh, as you've seen, we had some wonderful birds today. We had the hawfinch, um, the rock dove. Uh, also had a very, very big surprise of nearly 50 um, stock dove flew over, which I was really surprised about. So, at any rate, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go for lunch now. Please. If you remember, can you please subscribe to the channel? It all helps the channel grow. A, just hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell button so you won't miss any updates. Also, uh, make sure you remember to give it a like. And if you have any comments that you'd like to place underneath or any questions you have, just put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye.